Located in the Yamaguchi Prefecture, the Kintaiko Bridge is an elegant and historical representation of Japanese architecture, known for its signature five wooden arches. This is one of the most famous bridges in all of Japan. Not only is the bridge very popular with tourists for its pastoral setting and proximity to Iwakuni Castle, the steep arches gave way to incredible views of the surrounding mountains above and the dry riverbed down below connecting the modern life with the traditional samurai villages. And on the more modern end, the Seto Bridge is just as famous for its construction. This bridge is actually six connecting bridges that spans five of Satoshi's Island. I'd recommend walking up Mount Washuzan for the most impressive views. The bridge behind me has a road on top and a train track on the bottom, making it the longest two-tiered bridge in the whole world. The Buddhist temple of Kosanji stands out on the island of Akuchi for its bright hues, elaborate decor, and very tall statues. This temple was built by the owner to honor his mother when she passed away. And actually, up here in this pagoda, there are his mother's bones. At the very top of the temple's hill, there's a totally contrasting surprise. So we're in this park right now that was a Buddhist expression of art. It's actually called the Hill of the Future Mind. There's statues all throughout it, and you can see it's all made from marble, actually imported from Italy. When speaking of art and architecture in Japan, you must include their famous Japanese gardens, which are examples of both in nature. Some gardens, like the Ritsoran Garden, are more traditional, perfectly landscaped, almost like a living painting. Visitors appreciate this harmony between man and nature and get to enjoy views, relax in tea houses, or interact with these fairy tale surroundings. Taking in the park by boat is so magical and so peaceful and quiet, and I'm so happy that we're here in the fall because look at all these colors. Other gardens focus more on evoking a feeling. The Shinshoji Zen Garden takes the visitor on a sensory experience. Stimulating each of the five senses, the seemingly endless garden is designed to appear natural and wild, with hidden areas and meditative spaces. I was overwhelmed with the feeling of Zen. And with the vibrant autumn hues on full display, I could just wander here all day. Who would have thought that I'd come to Japan and experience the Sistine Chapel or the Mona Lisa? Yes, this is a museum of reproductions, but there's still something incredible about seeing and learning all of these famous pieces in one day. Most of them are scattered all over the globe and in varying states of deterioration, but here they are all shared and preserved just as they were meant to be. If the public is interacting and learning and appreciating art, that's all that really matters, right?